Welcome to the Old Spice Report. I'm Julie Alexandria. Joining me here is DMAC, and welcome to Doritos Sunday night here in Washington, D.C. Now, before we get into this amazing match that we just witnessed, I want to talk about earlier in the evening where we saw the first ever Halo Reach Championship right here on the main stage. We saw Vicious Intent beat Victoria's Secret 4-2. How important was this first Halo Reach championship right here on the main stage. Well, Julie, it was very important. We, we needed a lot of questions answered for Halo Reach. How the game types were going to play, how people were going to use different weapons, what competition was going to be good for the game. And I think we found out a lot of questions and a lot of questions were answered. And it was cool that we got the amateur players to play it first before the pros touch the game. So that way the game is perfect when the pros get to it and they could concentrate on Halo 3 for now. Well, we look forward to seeing a lot more reach next year in 2011, but let's talk about the matter at hand. We just saw an incredible, incredible series here at Doritos Sunday Night Championships between Final Boss and Triggers Down. Final Boss beating Triggers Down three to one. They are like the Energizer Bunny. They have all the stamina in the world. That was amazing. It was absolutely incredible. When you look at what Final Boss did, nobody counted them in this thing last night. And now Final Boss playing 20 games in a row, getting back to this position, a long 11-game series, and then beating Triggers down two series in a row. Absolutely incredible job by Final Boss. They really did. And back-to-back -back championships, not to mention from Rally and DC now. Uh, and Ogre, too, let us know that he was going to do that as well. He sure did. All right, let's go to our leaderboard and check our top eight teams in first place. Final Boss in second place, Triggers Down. Third place, Dynasty. Fourth place, Darkest Hour. Fifth, Warriors. Sixth, Instinct. Seventh, Status Quo. And eighth, Heaven and Earth. I want to mention two teams here in fourth and fifth place, Darkest Hour and Warriors. Uh, let me start off with Darkest Hour. Darkest Hour finishing in fourth place, and they're still not going to make our national championships. We'll get to that later. And then they played incredible. And then Warriors, showing that they are a consistent team, finishing fifth three times in a row now. That's a big thing for Warriors. They needed to play well at this tournament. But, Julie, let's not just concentrate on those two teams. Let's look at Instinct falling outside of our top five for the first time all season. Instinct has a lot of questions going into our national championship and also status quo. And you know, when we talked about status quo on the bracket show, I said status quo is a top team now. They did not show that here in DC. They have to step it up here as well. Oh, they have to step it up as well in our national championships. All right, let's talk about those national championships in Dallas. That's what we're looking ahead to. Let's talk about the teams who are going to show up. In first place, Final Boss. Second place, Instinct. Third place, Triggers Down. Fourth place, Status Quo. Fifth place, Dynasty. Sixth place, Believe the Hype. Seventh place, Warriors. And eighth place, Carbon. Now, visibly and noticeably missing from this list is straight ripping. Now, here's a team that actually did pretty well during the six-team land in Chicago Very during well. the offseason between Rally and D.C. What happened and why aren't they headed to Dallas? Uh, they played extremely well in at the six-team land, like you mentioned, but straight ripping just couldn't get it together. I thought they played really well on Saturday. When I looked at how they played on Saturday, I said, there's no way straight ripping is not going to make our national championships. But then they came out very flat against status quo earlier today, falling outside of the top eight, and it was just... It was really a cluster mess today, Julie, because Carbon was sitting there waiting to see if they were going to make it to our national championships. That depended on Darkest Hour winning or losing. It was crazy over here today, but straight ripping, T2, not going to be our national championships. Very disappointing. All right, well, let's flip the switch. Let's talk about something that is on a good note. We have a co-MVP of the Old Spice Swagger Award, and we would like to award that to Pistola and Fear itself. If you guys want to come on up here and grab your award, congratulations. They're taking a little long here right now. Well, they're champions. <laughs> <laughs> they're a little tired. They gotta be tired. Come Look on up, guys. Walking in front of the camera and everything. <laughs> Co MVPs. You, kn I know you wanted this one really bad. Talk to me about what this means to you. Uh, this means the world for final boss. We went down in the losers bracket early on. We came back 3-0 down to dynasty. BTD twice, and now we're going for the three peat in championships. Now, Pistola, you were a three-time MVP all of last year. You've been a little quiet this season. Finally, you got your stride back. Finally, you're back on top. What does that mean to you? It means the world to me. You know, I finally got, you know, the team that I want to be on. You know, after I got kicked from TD, you know, I was like, dang, I might actually quit Halo because I didn't know what to do with myself. But then Fear gave me a phone call, and I joined FB, and these are just great guys. I'm happy to be a part of Final Boss. 
Guys, congratulations once again. And Fear, I know you said in our pregame interview that you were hungry for your second win. Congratulations on that. I hope this satisfies you. All right, we are going to take a quick break. When we come back, we will be joined by Ogre 2 from Final Ball. Stick with us.